Oh, hello. This episode's gonna be a little bit different. We're just gonna hop right in, continue where we left off in episode 11, and not do as much explaining. Let's get into it. So we're gonna get started here right away. Like I said, I am going to still talk through what I am doing if it's different from what I did in user, but for the most part, it should be the same. So I'm gonna try to skip some of that stuff so we can get through this quickly and get on to other things. We have four files that we need to deal with in item, create, update, read, and delete. So we're gonna get started with create and then we'll work our way down. First thing we need to do is clean up our request body that we're passing directly into the database. The problem with that right now is that we, for one thing, have a dynamic type on content, which is because this is a generic API, we didn't wanna specify what content could be. In our case, because we're passing it through an escape mechanism through validator, it is going to limit it to being only a string. Now we could reverse the escape on getting it back out of the database, but that defeats the whole point. So we're just gonna pass paste in our validator here and we're gonna get started with these properties. For the most part, everything should be a string except creator, which should be a UUID, which is still a string. So we're gonna add a little bit of extra logic on that to make sure, but we ignore an ID that they would pass in, which is just fine. Item type should be a string, so our escape should have no problem there and we don't allow people to set their own timestamps. So that's just fine. Okay, let's go over to where we iterated over an entire object before, like in our other, um, I think it's our read that we iterate over all of the properties, but update is actually what we want because that iterates over a body. Right, so right here, this is what we want. And grab that, shouldn't need this file anymore, let's close that. Head back over here to create, drop that code in, now we're gonna call this a little bit differently. We're gonna call it um, escaped item because we're now working on the item object. Still working on the body, still working with an object key, still dynamically creating those keys, still escaping the input. We do wanna do one other thing. We wanna check if the request body at this specific key is equal to creator and if this does not pass validation, we wanna abort this. So we wanna do is UUID. Then this is an invalid request. And we'll just say that we don't want to give them any more hints. So that should take care of that. Now the rest of our query is still getting cleaned up through an escape item which is just fine. Now we want to replace our body with this escaped item. That should be all we need to do for create. We're going to test all of these at once after we're done with all of them. Let's get over to delete, which should be the exact same that we did over on our user.delete, which actually looks to have an issue of its own. It doesn't have our validator library in it. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. And then we're going to grab this code in a second. But while we have that copied, we'll import it over here as well. And now we'll grab this, drop this in. And that should be done for delete. Let's get to read. There's a lot going on here. 
Let's deal with the just by ID first, which should be similar to our user by ID. We do still need to import our library. Same parameter, however, this is not a user ID. This is a item ID. So we need to change that there. And then we need to change this here. Save that. Now we also need to update the generic query, which does a lot. So we're going to use the same strategy as before in terms of cleaning everything up. So once we have this escaped query, we're going to just run that. Over all of these things. And now we're gonna get into a little bit of an editing shortcut. Where we just select all of these and swap them out at the same time. Now our regular expression should be okay because we're already escaping it. We shouldn't need to do anything else for this. Uh, if you wanted to take an additional step, you could implement a library called safe regex and do an additional escape on this filter, or you could implement a blacklist on this filter as well. I'm not gonna do that for now. We're gonna call this safe enough. And that should do it for read. Let's get to update. So update should be similar to our create actually, but um, basically also identical to this. So we're going to copy it once again. Yet again, import our library. And one more time, this should not be user ID. This needs to be item. ID. So we're taking in our ID, we're validating it after we escape it. If it's not, we reject this request. We pass all the keys through a sanitizer and escape their values. We then do a find one and update on this specific ID, which should now be this. And this value is now our escaped query. We save that and we should be done. We're gonna go through and test these and that should do it. But let's go ahead and give these a quick test. So as I said, we just wanna make sure our item API is working as we would expect it to. I'm not sure if any of these item IDs still exist from before. So we're gonna go ahead and run our generic get to get a list of IDs first. We already have a problem because we're getting nothing back with the generic get on item. But that's because we have a filter applied for picture, which we don't have any of. So let's do that request again. It looks like I hadn't saved delete, so we should probably run through and test that one more time. But let's make sure this filter works. So now we're down to one result, which means our other one got deleted correctly. Let's go clean that console log up. We don't really want that in here.
get rid of that. And we'll double check and make sure our user doesn't have it in it as well, which it does. We're gonna get rid of that. Save both of these files. And that will do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed the speed round of validation and sanitation. If there is something else you'd like to see me cover on this topic, please leave a comment and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Take care.